Hey guys, for all of you that don't know me, my name is Mushka and welcome to my channel Let's Organize. This is part 2 of the attic. If you haven't seen the last video, please do. It's a mess. It's very motivating, I think. It was for me. So, please watch that video and watch this too. And I'm hoping this is the final video of the attic. So, we'll get to see the results and final organizing. I did buy more tools. Well, I mean baskets and stuff that I will be needing because I want to get rid of everything that's in cardboard boxes or anything like that. I want everything to look nice and neat and I did bring some stickers. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I do an upload. And also give me a thumbs up, comment. And thank you so much for watching and thank you all to my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. So, let's do this. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, this is just a quick... This is where we left off yesterday. So, there's still a few bits we need to go through in there. Last time, we just got rid of the doors over there. I have children full up attic here? of children up here so yeah, yeah. we might declutter them too okay so we're working on this okay guys i am starting up in this corner and there's this old video cassette is that what you call them nobody oh vcr nobody has them anymore so i just went through them and I only kept the ones that my sister thinks that she has her own videos that she wants to see if she can put them on a CD. And all the others were bent or recycled. Oh yes, and please do subscribe. I would love to have you here and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Perhaps say the part two was much harder than the part one. So these are all going and now there's two chairs up in the attic, we're taking them out, we're gonna give them to my other sister because she needs chairs, chairs constantly fall apart. So she might be delighted to have these because these are pretty good chairs, it's just that she doesn't need them. And I'm just moving some stuff around, this is the Christmas stuff which I'm gonna keep in the corner. These are more CDs, video games, they're all gonna be gone through and bent but we don't need. So they're all going downstairs. And this, see, there's a lot of car stuff and I found this bag here. I was wondering what was in it. And then, <laughs> he got a surprise. We have some cushion covers and shoes. So yeah, um, my sister did go through them now in the end. But clearly she wasn't using them because they were buried in that corner. So yeah. Now that she came up, I asked her what she wanted. She wanted to keep all the shoes anyways. But I put them in the shoe box that I kept from yesterday. She's getting rid of this bag and she's getting rid of a few cushion covers that she doesn't need. And the rest she's gonna go bring downstairs. Wash and maybe use it. So the rest is going in this green bag. And I put the shoes right in that box. And I found some puzzles and empty boxes on top of this so I decided to take them all down take the puzzles down give it to the children to play with and any empty boxes we ended up in it and I found this box there too oh my god this one was actually really hard trying to organize because it's old tools and stuff and car stuff it's like a garage slash shed slash storage I don't know like tons of different varieties in here so I was just going through box by box and 
trying to figure out what we can throw at and we were afraid to throw anything out because most of this stuff is our husband's so we had to keep most of it but I tried to organize it nicely in each box see all the empty boxes yeah so we got them out of our out of our way and now I'm trying to put all these sprays and glue and I don't know stuff in this little green basket Um, yeah, I was putting all the screwdrivers in one of the green baskets, trying to separate them and get ended up finding other random stuff that we ended up binning, I think, in the end, most of this stuff, yeah. There was so much stuff. Actually, her husband did come up. He came home, I mean, later on, so he was able to get rid of tons of stuff which I'll show you in a bit and this is some kitchenware which I'm gonna just put in the far corner more tools I was oh I didn't even know what this stuff was I was trying to put like with like um yeah there was just cables and oh my god just everything so yeah I was trying to keep all them like with like like machines and stuff just so I can label everything and everything was gonna be an easy reach then just random stuff we have there it's crazy but I'd say once they once her husband goes through some of this from crates now he'll be able to get rid of it as well because we just kept everything that we weren't sure of a hundred percent more empty boxes now I'm clearing this I'll try to clear it I was just confused actually pretty much most of the time I didn't know where to start <laughs> so I was trying to get these cardboard boxes out of my way um, yeah. A lot of screwdrivers, nails, um, I don't know, just, oh my god, so much random stuff. And now I'm getting rid of these boxes, my sister's downstairs, so I'm just handing them down to her so they'll be out of my way. And I have my son helping me out. So cute. So now I moved over. <laughs> That's the shoes in that green gray. So I just moved them over a bit. So I can bring those green boxes that we did yesterday. Because we didn't organize any of them. So now I'm just bringing them all in the middle. So we can go through every single one. And put, them, put everything what's need to be nicely separated so I found some photo albums I just put them over in the corner and now this was pretty hard I have to say this was this took us forever it's just because there's so much random stuff tool stuff we don't know anything about tools um, we did end up throwing a good few bits out these hooks wherever they are been in them and another empty box so I'm finally starting to get everything sorted out I'm just putting all this trying to keep it as much as possible all in one group like with like and I had my sister actually helping me here after this because do anymore this took forever as you can imagine she 
was actually very good. I'm like, bend that, bend that, bend that. I'm like, okay. And I'm keeping all the tapes and stuff in this little green basket. And yeah, my sister's trying to see what's what. <clears throat> Lots of empty boxes. Now, yep, we fast forwarded that part, so getting sorted and this is more stuff we get rid of because her husband turned up and he was able to get rid of all of these things that we didn't know what to do with so I was really delighted with that stuff we got rid of tons a lot more than ever expected and so that was brilliant <clears throat> so more stuff going down rubbish or trash or I don't know And that green bag is full of trash. And more cables going. And more stuff is going. And look who turned up. My husband came to check up on us. Well, he just came to get the car. He wanted to go to the gym and leave us all alone. <laughs> oh. oh, that's my brother-in-law. He was get rid of a lot. More stuff we got rid of. And the attic started to be emptied after this. I was amazed. Oh yeah, that gone downstairs kids are gonna play with it and then they'll get rid of it. And this is the after work. So um I'm just Give that quick show what's in each like this is all screws this is random stuff electrical stuff tapes oh machines i don't know just uh hot guns is that what you call them yeah but eventually her husband might have to go through some of these so i'm sure he can bend some of this stuff we just get that all so i did try my best and just in case you forgot what it looked like before this is the very first day when I came here and I took a, a little video of what it looked like before I did all the decluttering and it was a big hot mess and that only took me all together I think six hours to clear everything out but obviously I had help from my sister and my brother-in-law so it wasn't just me we all three was kind of done it together so pretty amazing it, it was pretty bad there was no empty space on the floor really bad but now and this is the result this is the after it's pretty not empty empty but everything that wasn't needed is gone and everything's nicely sorted all the tools are organized labeled well it's not written on the labels yet yet so this is it i am so impressed now eventually i will be going through this corner because it's all paperwork mainly more luggage needs to be gone through this is all the tools and this is the christmas stuff and halloween and wrapping and the doors were gone and this is how it looks like oh my god so relaxing and I'm just showing a few clips of before and after pictures here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Comment and give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a hard one. And this is all the stuff we got rid of in the end and more. And there's tons more that I didn't get to record but it's outside of the house anyway and I just done the doors are out as well and more boxes loads of boxes loads of just stuff thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one bye bye